for him to get up on it well one thing his nails are so long we don't want to cut them because we might hurt him we don't have the money to take him and get them cut excuse me sorry our wood floor is so slick and his nails excuse me uh, that he runs and slides when he goes to jump up on my bed and that keeps him from jumping up there and it's getting hard for him to jump up even on the couch here but anyway um so what he does as you can see and yeah it's dirty so don't pay that no mind but that's his day bed for in here to lay on but he does just lay around on the couch too um but he has some blankets folded in the corner of my bedroom in there in there by on my side of the bed and so for him to get on the bed what he has started doing instead of being out on the floor to jump he has started going and getting on his blankets way back in the car corner starting there running and then leap and jump up on the bed he knows that being on those blankets gives him I guess the word would be some traction and not let him slide on the floor with his nails and helps him to jump and get up on the bed and I think that's pretty smart for him to realize that to do that when I first seen him do it so that's his tricks um okay number 10 what is the favorite memory well I guess you could say that one about him leaping on the from the bed from the girls one girl to the other back then about the only thing I can think of you know that would be a favorite memory okay then number that was 10 number 11 do you take him outside and where and when um he's an inside dog so he lives in here with us like I said, he has to go outside to use the bathroom. I take him out the back door, which is in yonder at my utility room. We have a fenced-in backyard so he don't get out. But like I, I said, I done told you about him telling me, letting me know he needs to go out. So I let him out. And our house, it's old. It's not level and even. And so our door, back door, don't shut good. We actually have to lift up on it to get it to shut good. So when I let him out, I leave the... Um, I just kind of push it to a little bit I don't let it go in all the way and when he gets through outside he comes up the steps and he'll just push on the door and it opens up and he comes on in of course then I have to get up and go close it you know um, so that's how we do with letting him out now if he gets out here in the front where he's not in a pen he'll run off and if, even if we go out and catch him and call him he won't come back he just keeps going and he'll stay gone for a while and then he'll finally come back and we don't like that that's why we just put him out in the front but now as far as he loves to go BYE BYE and um he knows that word that's why I spelled it um so um he loves to go riding in the vehicle and go with us places so when we can when we're not going to take a long time when we're just running to the store and running in real quick to pick something up or whatever we let him we take him out we have to make sure he actually gets in the car and don't run off when we go out there and um and we take him riding with us and he loves it he sits up and he looks out the window he loves it yes mama's talking about you he's been laying there snoring i'm wondering if y'all heard him snoring yeah oh you're gonna stretch oh stretch away stretch away stretch away <laughs> you big old bug you okay so that's how we do with going outside now favorite thing to do his favorite thing to do lately this is what we have started doing it's our kind of nightly routine so when i am and it's late and it's always at different times sometimes it could be around 10 11 12 o'clock sometimes it's two three four five in the morning o'clock before i decide to lay down and go to sleep you know how i'm a night person stay up late all different hours and whatever so anyway um when i get through in here and get ready to go to bed and i go in there and he goes in there with me and and so i don't lay down right away i sit down on the side of my bed and i have this coloring app on my phone that's called happy coloring i think and um i just sit there and color on my phone but I don't, since I'm allergic to him, I don't let him get on my sheet and under my covers. But I will let him get on top of my my quilt, my bedspread thing in there. And so 
He'll get up there on the bed beside me, and I'm sitting there. Well, then I'll fold the blanket over on him to wrap him up and to have cover so I'm not touching him. And then that way I can put my arm around him. I rub him. I pet him. I talk to him while I'm sitting there coloring on my phone before I actually lay down to go to sleep. So that is his favorite thing to do. He loves when Momo will wrap him around and hold him and like that and hug him and rub him and baby talk to him and stuff like that. So that was our last question. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. I see that we did make two videos here. I can't never make a short video. I'm so sorry for that, y'all. And I'm sorry, Nina, that this tag ended up being a two-part. I just can't keep my mouth shut. Can I, boo-boo? Oh, yeah, I call him boo-boo sometimes for the pet name, too. Butch, butchy boo-boo. Yep. I love you. You're Momo's baby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, stretch away, stretch away. You want to say hey to everybody? Or you want to say bye to everybody? Huh? Doosha, doosha, doosha. Doosha, doosha, doosha. Another thing he lets us know about when we're eating, if we ignore him, he'll come to us and stand there and stare and start prancing around, letting us know, okay, you got to share that food with me. Got to share that food with me, huh, buddy? Yep, that's another one. I call him buddy sometimes, too. Just whatever comes out of my mouth, I guess. <laughs> all right so nina this is my dog butch and i hope you enjoyed my dog tag all right and everybody else too hope y'all enjoyed it so i will let y'all go y'all go check nina out and i am out of here until next time i'm done i'm going to the loo